It may not look like slimy work, but the focus in this laboratory at the University of Oklahoma Health Sciences Center is mucus. Researchers with the Stevenson Cancer Center know that mucus forms a mesh-like barrier around pancreatic and other cancer cells, shielding them from chemotherapy drugs and from the body's own immune system. Mucins are a major component of mucus, and there are a lot of them. But this team has identified a gene called GCNT3 that's involved in the function of many of those mucins. If we can specifically target that one, we can uh, regulate the production of all these mucins. They next zeroed in on a specific molecule already used to regulate mucus production in cystic fibrosis and other diseases. In their laboratory studies, they showed the molecule binds to their gene target, reducing mucin function and the development of pancreatic cancer. We can reduce the mucin production, which will allow the drugs to access to the target sites. The molecule also appears to boost the body's own tumor-fighting abilities. The Stevenson Cancer Center team says the findings potentially may lead to a new therapy, one that might be used in combination with current cancer-fighting drugs to make them more effective against pancreatic cancer. It may take some time, but not that long, since we are dealing with an FDA-approved drug. It's news that brings hope in the fight against pancreatic cancer, a cancer where patient survival currently is often only a matter of months. This is Teresa Green reporting.